we have a serious problem. It's the oil beginning to run out. Whilst the oil shakes say there's not a problem, don't worry about it. The price is on a roller coaster. I think it's outrageous. The media blame everything from speculation to the weak dollar to the war on terrorism. There's so many bullish headlines coming to the market. But what they're not telling you is very soon global oil production could be about to fall. That day of reckoning is coming and we had better prepare for a transition. And the terrible future that may be facing all of us if something's not done quickly. Just how many people can the planet support without the cheap oil that made all this possible? Has the world been in denial for the last 30 years? The energy crisis has not yet overwhelmed us, but it will if we do not act quickly. And is there a conspiracy of silence to keep the truth from us? The oil industry, do you think that they're going to tell their shareholders that they're kind of out of oil? And we ask, what are we going to do when we can no longer afford to fill up our cars? We have to leave oil before oil leaves us. Over the last century, we have built our world around the car. It allows us to travel great distances and transport everything from food to furniture with ease. Together with the airplane, it has enabled us to colonize the entire planet. But the 700 million cars, trucks, planes and ships would be useless lumps of metal if it wasn't for one thing. And that thing is oil. We came here on oil. Everything around us came to us uh, or is made of oil or oil products. Cheap oil has fueled the biggest party humankind has ever enjoyed. Over the past 150 years, we've done unimaginable things. We've sent people to the moon. We've grown our population over five times. None of this would be possible without this one-time gift from the Earth's geological past. The party started 150 years ago when oil was first produced in Titusville, USA. But it was Henry Ford and his popular Model T car that turned oil into black gold. What he accomplished helped men put the burden of work on machines and broke the barriers of space and time. The world powered through the 20th century on the great American, Russian, and Middle Eastern oil fields. The car became a necessity, synonymous with freedom. Now, as China overtakes America as the world's largest economy, a group of industry insiders are saying that oil production cannot keep up with demand, and soon we will reach peak oil. It's not that we're running out of oil, it's that the rate at which we can extract that oil is reaching its all-time maximum. And soon, the rate of extraction is going to begin to decline, and every year thereafter, we will have less oil to go around. No matter what we do, no matter how many wells we drill, no matter how much money we throw at it. And so we'll have to learn how to live with less oil. And the peak oil theorists predict dire consequences for the world economy. This is an apocalyptic scenario. In terms of industrial production, uh, in terms of uh, the food supply, uh, but above all in terms of the transportation systems, it cannot continue as we now are.